What is poppin' family? It's your boy, King David, a.k.a. you know the rest. And today, man, I'm here with a video on something that I was debating on getting because I didn't feel like I really needed it. But after trying it out at a homie spot, you know what I'm saying? It was a must. What I'm talking about is the uh, Elgato 4K60 Pro. And this is the newer version, guys, the uh, Mark II. Um... This thing right here is awesome. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't support G-Sync or FreeSync. Um, in order for you to use this device, you're going to have to have an HDMI 2.0 port. You're going to have to have that. If you don't, this will not work. Your um monitor is going to have to uh, support that. Um, you're gonna have when you're gonna have to have Windows 10 64 bit, um, 6 gen Intel Core i7 CPU, um, AMD Ryzen 7 or better, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10 or better. So the 20 series will work, and the 1660, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if if I'm wrong, comment in the uh comment section below but i believe you can go on elgato's website and check those specs for yourself um i'm also hearing that this will not work with uh amd's graphics cards i'm not 100 percent sure on that but that's what i heard um you might want to check it if you have an amd graphics card that way you're not stuck with something that's not working for you especially because this thing is pretty expensive um, it works with the PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, uh, you can stream to Twitch, YouTube, I mean, it's, this, this thing is awesome, man, I, I was using, uh, NDI, a lot of you guys know that, I said it in a couple of my streams, um, I was using, I was even using the Elgato HD60S, I had found out a way to, uh, stream and play my game at 1440p 144 hertz while streaming you know it, it it's a pretty decent way for uh someone to to go about streaming and still being able to game at those high refresh rates if you already have a hd60 or hd60s or something of that nature if you don't want to go out and spend the money for the 4k uh capture card which is understandable because like i said these are pretty expensive um I got this one for around $249 off of Amazon. We'll leave the link in the description. Uh, it's a lot smaller, man. Let me go ahead and get it out the box for you guys. Uh, it's a lot smaller than I actually thought that it was going to be. And I mean a lot smaller. Um, when I opened the box up, I definitely couldn't believe how small it was now my friend he had the uh the 4k 60 pro the regular one so um his is a lot bigger than this when i saw this one i really couldn't believe how small it was but it's actually good because where i'm installing it there it is where i'm installing it um, it's going to be inside a thermal take, uh, core P3 case. So it's going behind my graphics card. So I'm kind of glad that it actually is this small because there's really not that much room in that case for something like this to begin with. But, um, the way that I'm going to do it, I feel that it'll work out because I'm actually putting it in through a riser cable, which is right here. Which I also purchased the Thermal Take. What is this? This is the Thermal Take. Uh, cool your life. So this is what I'm gonna be installing it on. Inside of the case, it's gonna sit vertical, just like my GPU, but it's gonna sit behind the GPU. And with it being so small, you're not gonna be able to see it, which is okay with me. Um, like I said, I was going for the 4K60, but that thing is a a monster. You know, it's it's pretty huge. So. I decided to go ahead and go with with this so this is what it looks like installed inside the streaming PC I couldn't get it to go behind the GPU as you could tell there just wasn't enough room 
but I think overall it looks decent where it's at. By the way, this is an older video, so a million things have been changed since then as far as the setup and the way I run the Elgato to capture games. Anyway, I'm quite curious to know how you guys out there are running your setups. Is it single PC with game capture? Or are you running dual PCs like me and using a capture card like the 4K60 Pro or the 4K60 Pro Mark II, the Aver Media, or any of those capture cards in order to grab the game feed from the gaming PC and move it over to the streaming PC to then be encoded by either OBS or Streamlabs OBS and any of the other uh, programs out there that allow you to do that. If you like this video, leave a like, comment below, let me know how you're running your setup, and I'm out. It's your boy, King David, a.k.a. King Shit. We lit.